The challenge we face is not a challenge of the past. It's a challenge of the future. How do you build a future where we can live in inclusively? Alice is, I think, a really consummate facilitator. Alice has a capacity to get people who are in extreme situations of conflict and mistrust to trust her. We don't have so many women mediators. She has a drive to continue doing it irrespective of the challenges, largely because I think she believes in people, even when people don't believe in themselves. The peace agreements that Alice facilitated in Nakuru, in Plateau, and Kaduna states in Nigeria are in themselves affirmations that a pluralist agenda is what these communities want going forward, and they're committing themselves to pluralism through the agreements that Alice has drafted. To see the smile in the face of a community member who cannot go back to his or her house and not be afraid that the neighbors will come again in the night to attack. Nothing could be more powerful than that. Nothing could be more fulfilling. We can never allow what divides us to build into biases and stereotypes that then translate into violence. You can keep fighting and fighting, but we are going to be here until one day you'll tell us, but why are you still here? We don't need you. We have peace now. And I told them, and that day will come, and I believe in it, and you must believe in it as well. Mm -hmm.